Hi, uh, good morning, everyone. So in this video, I will tell you one point. Uh, for example, whenever you check any kind of uh, material type you wanted to change for a material, okay, it's a rare case, it's not uh, frequently happens. But uh, we mentioned about one request or one prerequisite, uh, if you want to do this activity, that is, what is that activity? We maintain, uh, we change with uh, the MMAM transaction, okay? We ensure that there is no stock available or if, because it can generate any kind of inconsistency, okay? So those kind of things we take as a prerequisite, but uh, mainly for when you want to change the material type uh, by using MMAM, we will change it. So we will do a few uh, negative testing or a few kind of uh, cases now to understand that. But based on recent experience, I wanted to highlight uh, one point here uh, so the main point is like, if you want to change material type, okay? So for example, if you want to change the material type from A to B. For example, material type A, ROH2 NLAZ related material type, if you want to change, system will not allow because system will verify that if the material types, both material types are having quantity and value flag equal. For example, you want to change a material type from finished goods to raw material you can change, but both should have a same account as an account category reference and both should be quantity and value activated. Because recently I was trying to uh, change uh, one uh, non-stock material, like uh, non-value only stock, which quantity flag is there, but no value flag. Such material we wanted to convert to quantity with value, but system didn't allow that. So we created a new material for that uh, all requirements, okay? So what I want to tell is MMAM transaction will be used to change the material type of a transaction. So MMAM transaction will be used to change the material type of a material. But if you want to change the material type to another material type, both material types must have assigned with same account category reference and must have both quantity and value flags equal. Let's do some kind of a testing. Let's take uh, mm sixty. We'll take it one plant one seven one zero. Let's take two different uh, material types ROH and uh, do they have any analysis? NLAZ. Okay, so NLAZ. Why I have taken both of them? Let me open OMS2. These all transactions are same in ECC and S4HANA. Now we are in S4HANA 2022 system. You can see at the bottom S4HANA 2022. So we will open ROH and NLAZ. NLAZ is a non stock material. If you go to quantity and value flag, well, let's first uh, check ROH for our plant 1710. 1710. 1710. So both quantity and value flags are there for ROH. And uh, for NLAZ, let me deselect all NLAZ quantity and value flag, I'm going to check for the my plant 1710. So no quantity, no value flag and ROH has a quantity and value flag. Now what I'm going to do 
I will minimize the screen. I have taken NS0001. This material type I am planning to change it. Go to new screen. Go to the transaction MM AM. Give the material. New material type I want to change to ROH. ROH. We can enter. Voltage NLAZ. Execute. You are changing material type from non stock material to raw material. The valuation class is 1710. So it has given completely a runtime error it's because of uh, ideas, any kind of a data, but it didn't happen anyway. M, M, A, M, new material type ROH. Still, it is with that. You are changing material type from which valuation class I will consider. Table could not be redirect. Okay. So, uh, in my real time system, I didn't get any this kind of runtime error, but the uh, system didn't allow to change it. So, that's what I wanted to inform. So, you, if you want to change the material type, similar kind of material types you can change. Otherwise, I recommend you to please go for a new material code so that the earlier record, earlier accounting entries or everything can be available and you can manage. Maybe you can use this similar kind of material type with um, some indicator at the end you can utilize for identification in the future, but you can follow that way. So you learned how to change material type to material type. I think anyway, we are discussing so we can change from similar one MM60 let me take 1710 I will change from ROH to RAW1 I hope both are similar RAW1 slash O MM AM material is 2 R A W one. So directly there is some kind of a table itself as an issue, I believe. Let me check it. Hi. So actually, we are not able to uh, replicate exactly right because of the runtime error. I have verified the runtime error, but uh, it was related to that MERC table and some inconsistency in IDA system. So let's not uh, get into that runtime error and uh, spending time on that. So I took certain points for you by taking from a real time system. So, so for example, based on that, I'm giving you proper prerequisites. Like I mentioned that if you want to change uh, a material type, uh, you need to ensure that no open POs or sales orders, any documents are available for the material. And uh, there is no stock. Okay, ensure the stock needs to be clear. And uh, both material types must have same quantity and value update flags because the material uh, will have um, data, right? So it has the characteristics and all. So system has put a control that uh, the flag should be same. Documents and stock you can clear, but uh, these two things you cannot do so that uh, you have to go for a new material creation only because for one material you want to change for that material purpose you cannot go to configuration and change the quantity or value flag and second prerequisite is uh, both must be assigned to same account category reference because account category reference itself will determine the valuation class right so already a material has assigned to the valuation class and all so system already put the validation that you should have a same so first two you can clear it if you really want to change but uh, other two, if you're not able to satisfy, then uh, please go for a new material creation. Otherwise you cannot achieve. So I was supposed to show the error, uh, how the system 
show you the error when you change this kind of without clearing the prerequisites. But unfortunately, in IDA system, we couldn't show you so that I have taken the message which I got in real time system. It's like uh, stocks already exist in the following plans. So if there is a stock system will give you that message. And also if there is second, third or fourth system will give you like this. However, these plans have different quantity or value of betting resulting in different account determination. So this kind of uh, message will come if you are having uh, these differences. So that's what I wanted to show in IDA system, okay? So mainly what we learned today, if you want to change the material type, clear open documents and stock and you can change it. After that also you are getting any kind of a message, then you have to consider these two points that the quantity or value flag should be same and account category reference the same is assigned to both material types, otherwise you cannot achieve it. Thanks for watching. I hope uh, you understand the material type change when do you, these kind of uh, changes will happen. So if the business wanted to use the same material till now they are handling as a non-validated, but they want to consider as a validated. So these kind of decisions, then we need to tell them uh, what are the prerequisites, okay, which you can achieve, which you cannot achieve. Then you can go for a new material creation. Thank you.